Hello guys and gals, me Mudahar, and welcome to another episode of the Some Ordinary Podcast. I wish I could tell you the episode number, but I can't count that high, ladies and gentlemen. I've got amazing co-hosts, as you all know, Nuxtaku and Oompaville. Say hi, boys. Hi, boys. Hi, boys. <laughs> oh my god, Jesus Christ. But I've also got Vince Vintage over here. Why not? How's it going, Vince? Or, uh, right. Me and... I'm just going to straight up say it. Me and Vintage are actually figuring out how to start a um, sweatshop Switch course. <laughs> so uh, let's just let's let's just rip the bandaid off. Get ready for that one. It's coming out soon. What country are you Viet- starting it in? Oh, Vietnam, bro. That's like okay. where everyone gets their <laughs> sweatshops ready. So how's it going, buddy? How, how's the sweatshop dream going for you? Have you learned how to hustle right, or are we still like, you know? Yeah, it's going good. I've been looking like in Malaysia, maybe the Philippines, you know, trying to see what the labor law is. Kind of like with the Andrew Tate in Romania, you know, trying to find that optimal country to commit the most crimes, but... Yeah, it takes time. I, we don't want we don't use the term crime <laughs> like oh not uh, we, yeah we're bending yeah. we're bending the rules we're we're doing a little bit yeah. of matrix breaking Loopholes. if you will too Loopholes. Yeah, exactly line, really <laughs> yeah really <laughs> we're trying to find where the bar has been lowered for human rights the yeah. most <laughs> we're trying to find where the felonies are just misdemeanors. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> uh, speaking of Andrew Tate, how excited are we to know that? Uh, our, well, I, I don't know if I can say excited. Really, I'm just uh, I'm kind of shocked. Uh, Thirty more days in detention. It's uh, it, it's it's been going rough for our buddy out there. He's been making these like religious posts now. Like I have friends as cockroaches now, and yeah. <laughs> I am being tested by Allah right now in like the prisons. And he's like, I'm not mad at the prison guards. They're just doing their job. You know, it's like mm-hmm. that. Uh, I do gotta say like, that sounds you know, like it sucks. You know, it's Romanian like whole, solitary confinement. Yeah, it <laughs> sounds pretty bad. But it, you know the whole like YouTuber thing. It's when someone gets in trouble or whatever, and they hate the people and that that get them in trouble. But like, I don't want to send any right. hate to them, guys. I don't want to send any hate to them. Right. Yeah. Like, but I will talk about this. But I will exactly. paint them in a terribly negative light, and hopefully my fans will pick up arms with me looking like the good guy. Oh. Dude, I'm so glad that Andrew, I'm so I'm so glad that Aiden Aiden Ross has become like a full on like blown like Muslim now, dude. It's insane. Have you seen <laughs> that? Really? He's a, he's converted to Islam. Well, no, but like he went from like he was oh. like remember like a few weeks ago he's like oh dude hell yeah OnlyFans people on my entire page now he's like I'm so, we're against OnlyFans it's we're, poison for yeah, the mind it's, it's poison <laughs> my, my favorite line that he said when he had that whole rant was where he said that OnlyFans is the same as gambling and that's a fact in my opinion. That's that a fact. Exactly. Best line of all time. That's like a fact that. in my opinion. That's that a goes huge. hard. Oh man. <laughs> Dude, I, I actually, I love Aiden Ross. Like, there's only so many bangers a creator can do on such a rapid basis. Like, I'm still reeling from the fact that I saw a clip of him, like, go up to Andrew's chair and just do, like, one of those, like, comically, like, insane snits. I'm like, dude, I will never forget that. And then, like, a week later, he's just like, all right, yeah, f- only fans, dude. We're, we're getting rid of this poison and cancer Which from the ironic, world. Which is ironic, because, like, he streams with OnlyFans creators all the time. I think. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Right? And it's like, like stars. Dates. Yeah, he's he's like a weird like it's it's I think Andrew Tate is like he's like an unironic believer like he's an unironic man like he was jumped because let's like if there's one thing about the Tate that I know like Andrew is like I, I just know that he doesn't have any strong convictions in any of this he just like grifts really well. Tate. But like the people that oh yeah easily Tate yeah. like let's not it's it's like it's like um. It's like any of those core scammers. Like they don't have any actual conviction. They just know how to hustle and like they they know what will work with the audience. Like mm. absolute brilliant marketers, if you will. But like the people that orbit them, like they just actually believe this shit. Like Sneeko and Aiden Ross, like they jump into the whole like meme that hard. It's kind of beautiful I to be know, honest Muda. with you. That sounds like something the Matrix would say. I mean, yeah, it- that's it. Go ahead. I don't know. I was just gonna say it's smart for Andrew Tate to kind of do that whole pairing up with Aiden Ross. With like the whole prison thing, no. like out of every any person you could hit up, you want to hit up the biggest Twitch streamer that's like on your shit right now, mm-hmm. and um, you know his audience is just expanding. It's like, dude, if there was any other creator that was in prison for trafficking, they would just be absolutely hated. But for some reason, it's like with Andrew Tate, like nothing is like sticking to this guy. And um, yeah, yeah, there's a well, I to well, me like it's, to it's interesting because you go ahead. look at it from the perspective of his fan base. Whoever yeah. is a, a fan of Andrew Tate is by like um, just by the fact that mm-hmm. he, they're buying into the Andrew Tate lore. They're also buying mm-hmm. into the fact that the Matrix exists and is out to get him and will lie 
to put him in prison. So I don't well, think the, it's the, that much the, of a jump. The That's thing true. about his detainment, and like for me, I think anytime anybody is detained improperly, I think it's wrong. Like if they have no evidence on Andrew Tate at all, period, I don't horrible. think he should be detained. Like I don't think he should be detained if they have no evidence, right? But the thing is, like the only reason they're detaining him is like um, because he's obviously a flight risk. Like he said in the past, like it's easy for me to like go. I have multiple passports, everything. Anytime yeah. you make that statement, bro, no country is gonna let you leave, right? Like if I made that statement and I was under investigation, I'd immediately be put on a travel lock. You know, like it's it's not like I can't even blame the country for it. I can't blame anyone. That's like you 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 made your own bed. But the thing is, like, the more the days pass, I, I can only imagine how this investigation is going to come out, like, revealing the most insane shit about Andrew Tate, or he's going to walk away innocent. And at the end of the day, like, and I kind of really hope that he's innocent, just because I don't want there to actually be anybody that was hurt. Like, I don't want this to turn into a case where, like, oh, this is, like, a long story of, like, how many women or, like, men that have been, like, completely used and shoot through some system. Right. Like, mm. I, I, I just don't want to hear the worst, like, I don't know. It, like, the whole world has so much bad shit going on into it that I don't want the extra compounding thing, you know? Like, fucking, I don't know. I just want him to come across some goofy incel guy versus, like, an actual, like, you know, oh, we got G Epstein 2.0 out again, like, Christ. But if he's in, but if he's guilty, I like, like, I'm glad that, like, law enforcement has taken it so seriously that, you know, the guy's going to be convicted. It's just a matter of time to figure it out. I, I... I'm just waiting for the convictions to hit, or like you know something to be finally decided, right? Like it's it's insane how long this has gone on for. Because he can be detained up for insane, yeah. 180 days, per and it's like meal? every so it's 180 days is like the limit on the um, detention, but they renew it every like 30 days, right? And then there's been some, so I mean this could go on for for months. Yeah, which is um, it's interesting well, I mean, how. Uh, that means I might have found something. It's I don't know. Like it's yeah, it's exactly it's a matrix. And it's kind of wild how they've just been like slowly kind of like leaking this evidence to kind of just put a little bit more belief in people of like, you know what, this guy's actually done this thing. Here are these text logs. Like did you guys see that mm -hmm. one where he was texting the politician's daughter that was like sixteen years old? Yeah, I saw that. Yeah. I, I don't know if any of these are real or fake. Like I'm so torn on them, to be honest. Because it's it's so easy to be anti Andrew Tate and get clout, and it, yeah. it's like so you're pro. I mean, Andrew like Tate? at the end of the day, you should no, you should <laughs> yeah, just be pro the truth, no matter what. Like you should be pro 100 percent the truth, I, and I hate you. this whole like. If he committed yeah. crimes, you should be put away. If he didn't commit crimes, yeah. then you should go free. It's it's not like it has nothing to do with whether I like him or not. Exactly. Like I don't like Tate. Period. I think he's a fucking. I think he's an idiot. Like I think he's just one of these like fucking like grifty types. But if he's not guilty of a crime, right? Like, if he's not guilty of any actual, like, serious crime, like human trafficking and trafficking, then he should be free, right? Like, that's kind of how we... That's, like, how a civilized society works, right? Like, you may not yeah. like somebody, but you're not... Like, if they haven't done anything to impact society, then you should just let them roll free. But again, if he's guilty, then throw the book at him. And again, if he is guilty, I want the people who are like, oh, it's the Matrix that screwed him over. I'm like, guys, that is such... I, I always hate how much of a cop-out that shit sounds, because Logan Paul just used that oh very recently. God. He's like, the f***ing Matrix, Matrix is after me. you. It's like, dude, there is no such thing as the f***ing Matrix, okay? Like, at the end of the day, it's like you're... Like, the consequences of your actions manifested, all right? So you can deal with that shit. Yeah. <laughs> you know, like, Christ. It's kind of like Donald uh, Trump with, like, I lost... The, you know, like, I, the election was cheated for me. The election was cheated, and then it's like all these rabid fans constantly believe that even though they're doing all these recounts and they're trying to start, you know, show evidence, but at the end of the day, there are people that, you know, you could never be changed on that. If he is guilty no, or not. Once you deal with conspiracy theorists, you're absolutely right. Like, once you deal with people that are so into the conspiracy brain, they can't be f***ing flipped away. Because my thing is, like, it's not that I'm opposed to conspiracies, but when, like, new information comes to light, or, like, actual peer-reviewed shit comes to light, I'm gonna change my opinion. Some people are just, like, too scared to, like, can admit that they were actually wrong, you know, the whole time. Like yeah. that that's the real yeah. problem. Yeah, and there's always another even more far fetched conspiracy conspiracy theory to explain the last conspiracy theory. It's, yeah. It's true. It's like, yeah, so the moon well, landing was fake. Well that means NASA is part of the Illuminati. Well that means that the <laughs> Illuminati controls the world. Well that means the Earth is flat. <laughs> it's like it just goes from yeah. one to the next. <laughs> no, but like we're at a point where like we're literally uh. quoting the we're quoting science fiction movies, bro. We're like actually taking the Matrix as a as a serious, you know, thing.
Today's episode of the podcast is brought to you by our friends over at Raycon, ladies and gentlemen. This time of year, everyone's talking about making some pretty big changes. Raycons give premium quality audio at a near-perfect price point, so you can build great habits without, again, breaking that bank. If one of the things is, when I'm working on any project or playing some video game that requires me to grind for an excessive amount of time or going on a walk, I tend to like to have good music playing in my ear, something really nice, chill, and relaxing. And when I can wear some of these nice buds and block out pretty much everything around me, it feels absolutely fine. Now, when you're looking at a pair of everyday earbuds, low latency gaming headphones, or a speaker with a battery that'll last pretty much all night to the next night, you've got Raycon having your back. And yeah, Raycon started half the price of other premium audio brands. So you don't have to choose between products. You can literally get one of each or a pair to spare and still pay less than what you would with some of the other big guys in the industry. Even if you know you'll love Raycons as much as we all do here, Raycons want to make sure you feel great with your purchase. And they offer buy now, pay later options, and every purchase has an easy and free return guarantee. One of the things I like about them is they're water and sweat resistant. I absolutely like the idea that I can have crystal clear qual qualities with people around me. And one of the best parts about it is throughout this entire presentation, throughout this entire advertiser spot, I've literally been only able to hear my thoughts through noise isolation modes. So get ready to buy something small with a big impact. Go to buyraycon.com slash SOP today and get 15% off your next Raycon order. That's buyraycon.com slash SOP to score 15% off by raycon.com slash SOP. Here's, here's the crazy part though. Like the reason why I think Andrew Tate and a lot of his like peers get this audience is because they say half truths, mm -hmm. right? To an extent, the yeah. government does control stuff, right? They are watching you oh, through yeah. your computer. They're doing all that stuff. So there is some kind of matrix. Now, how, mm -hmm. how crazy much control does this have over your lives? Well, you know, probably not as much as he's saying, but that's a blurry Well, it's like, line. okay, here, like, if you want to talk about half truths, like, like, tomorrow, imagine if Andrew's like, you guys know that the NSA watches everything you type on the internet and send it around. You're like, yeah, you're not wrong. Like, obviously they do. Every alphabet agency in the country country checks everything that you do on the internet okay but like what are they doing with that chances are they're probably treating the shit pretty equivalently like back in the 70s and i've been researching this for a video like uh remember how like the fbi like and tried to harass martin luther king and like mm -hmm, you know mm -hmm. a lot of the big civil rights people well like conveniently every time you talk to people who are always throwing the fbi out of the bus i'm like what about how they also at the same time that they were harassing malcolm x they were also keeping tabs and harassing the and KKK leaders too at the time too. They were like looking into their shit. Like at the end of the day, like yeah, they were peeking through everyone's mail and everything, but they were always like fucking just on every person of interest. Like what they forget is like the government, like it, some, in a lot of cases, like these alphabet agencies, they don't necessarily have like the political lean. They just like typically go after any person's of interest because they're staffed by people that are so diverse in their like, like, lean, like, because you, you're always going to have left and right wing leaning people in these agencies, like just m intertwined and mixed, right? Right. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, they're people that are designed to, to safeguard the country. It's, it's almost like an autonomous body, right? Like, you can cut the head, like, it's like a Hydra, right? Like, they're just designed for one job and one role only. So that's one of the things that I always quit. Like, I'm always like, okay, there's a conspiracy. The FBI is tracking you. You think they're specifically designed to shut you down or to make sure that there's a level playing field for the country, right? Like, at the end of the day, that's what they're going for the most. I'm not saying they don't do shady shit, but they're doing shady shit to keep things at least in some weird balance, right? Like, that's how I've always seen it. It's like with that, um, like, there was that, that Joe Biden had those confidential documents and they, like, raided his house and, yeah. like, took them out. And that was like a couple weeks ago. And then I think like yesterday now it's like Mike Pence had a bunch of confidential documents and then Donald yeah. Trump had them, you know, like a year ago. And it's like mm -hmm. the FBI going after this. It's kind of like, you know, there really isn't any side, especially like going after the president while he's in office, you know, it's like it's, what people, it's pretty wild. Uh, it's like people don't look at the good side of it. Like if you think about it, what other country in the world allows their federal agency to look into politicians this hard? Yeah. Like, could you ever f imagine the Russians allowing like the FSB to like look <laughs> at Putin this hard? No. Could you ever imagine, like, any other country doing this? Like, it's kind of wild that, like, the FBI has that much power that they can look at actual presidents, like, like people who are in the highest position, the highest echelon of the country, and be like, yeah, we're still going to, like, look into your shit. Like, you still yeah. can't commit actual <laughs> felonies, you know? Like, you can't <laughs> actually, like, do something wrong. That, I find, is really cool. People don't look at that silver lining. They always, like, try to find some corruption or whatever. And it's like, dude, like... Don't get me wrong, that's another half-truth, right? Like, people are like, oh, 
corruption uh, corruption exists 100%, okay? Mm -hmm. It's just like it's not going to be as in your face and prevalent <laughs> as like some other compromised country so to speak. It's fucking insane dealing with any of this. Like deal again, like you said Vince, like e e any time you deal with people like this, once their brain is set so hard into that like conspiracy brain or like that you'll never be able to convert. You'll never be able to change it. It's over. Like with the Romania thing, it's like Andrew Tate's not only like pissed off a lot of people, you have all these allegations, mm -hmm. but it's like the Romanian government, look at it from their end. You have this guy that specifically came to the country to escape the, the English, you know, like the sexual laws and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. On TikToks, all these videos where he's like, man, I moved to Romania, so if I ever go to prison, I can just give him a stack of cash and say bye-bye. You know, mm -hmm. any kind of attorney I have, I want to be, just get me out. I've committed multiple felonies. I'm done. So the guy has no respect for the Romanian legal system. Now he's in prison. Now you go on his Twitter and he's like, I have the utmost respect for the Romanian law system. His attorneys <laughs> are making statements saying the same thing. Like, Andrew Tate has the utmost respect for the Romanian legal system. Yeah. And it's like, all of the things that guy said, like all those TikToks, all those videos, man, all of that stuff is going to be used against them. And it's like, uh, yeah. Yeah. Well, he's it's gonna, the other thing, too. Go ahead, Caleb. Sorry. He's going to do the Alex Jones thing, though. He's gotta, it's got to be satire, right? Because there's, so yeah. yeah. there's so much evidence that it is satire anyways. Um, yeah. And he's, like, always breaking character or whatever. Mm -hmm. uh, and Alex Jones got away with that in every single sense, aside from the Sandy Hook stuff, which was obviously not a, you know, that's kind of just yeah, that next was level. Just exactly. I think I think what's going to, what's going to, like, come out of this is, like, I think what's really happened is, like, look, no matter how up your country might be like there, there's romania has a obviously a high corruption index like india has one too like a lot of places like yeah. if you're so blatantly disrespectful it's just another example of we'll make a an example out of you right like 100 like mexico is a really corrupt country i'm not saying this to be mean to like people like, i love mexico i like mexican people i like their culture and everything but let's admit one thing your government's all kinds of fucked up right? yeah. like if it's any government that's like oh shit you're running a drug cartel come on in buddy yeah. like they don't care <laughs> but like if you're the one drug boss that's like yeah fuck these government lose they're not mexico city ain't gonna do shit to me oh they're gonna they're, they're gonna send everything after you if you if yeah. you make fun of them publicly then the then then just for appearances you're gonna be like all right i guess we have to actually do our job yeah. somebody's actually going to prison didn't Most tucker Google carlson also on, like yeah he, he also got yeah. off of something he he said that his show is satire mm. who did yeah tucker carlson oh right 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 yeah i saw that he did yeah wait what, what, what did tucker do Oh, I don't remember. This was a while ago. Mm -hmm. Remember, Anthony Padilla told me about it right before our interview. <laughs> yeah, I was just like, "What? No!" So, what the? Yeah, yeah. What do you so guys think about the red? Oh. Claimed the show is. What? Do you, wait, what yeah, did yeah. you say? Okay. Who me? He, he he claimed his show to get out of a lawsuit of some sort. He claimed his show was a satire. Which is ironic. For, oh, I for heard news. about that. It was like the entertainment because they were like Fox's Entertainment, not news. And I'm like, oh, that's mm -hmm. a yeah, cop that, out and a half, dude. Like, no. Bro. Fox <laughs> News, right? Have you seen? Have you Fox seen? Uh, have you seen Tucker getting getting angry recently? Not just over the Eminem, but because they added oh. like a power feature to the Xbox for some no, reason. He's like, see that? they're yeah. they're introducing climate change politics no, to your children. No. I'm like, damn, Tucker. They added like so basically the whole drama is so like Microsoft added an update to the Xbox consoles where like instead of you using the always on thing, it would like just default to the power saving. Which fundamentally doesn't Whoa. fuck up the console, anyways, because you still download games. It'll it'll take like an extra like t ten seconds to start the console, woke right? Cringe. Like you just woke exactly cringe. that's all it is. It's like Xbox has become woke box. I'm like, damn, <laughs> dude. Like you can go into the setting and toggle it back if you really wanted to. Like I I literally only used the feature back in the Xbox One days because I wanted to download games while the system was off. You don't have to do that anymore. So I'm like, why the f Somebody just set their like unless you needed to fucking game on Call of Duty nine seconds faster. <laughs> why is it such a big fucking deal? <laughs> and again, they brought the whole like politics to it. it I don't know. Anytime but, you like, go ahead. But but don't they already have that? Isn't that like on all like Xbox, PS Five? Like why is it a mm -hmm. problem now? It's just automatically on now. Oh uh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, they like they changed the default on the Xbox, which, again, like even if you were to like remove all the politics, if I was like the engineer, I'm like just make it a default so the system has less wear and tear. That's what I would do. Yeah, 
I'm like, like, why the, like, why is it such an own for like politics? Like, yeah, I'm just gonna burn my electric bill through the roof. Why? Why? <laughs> like, <laughs> unless you don't see a difference, what? And you can just change it back. Like, like, I, I swear to God, like, if you show Tucker Carlson the fucking sleep mode on your computer, the hibernate button, he'd freak the fuck out. Like, you can't have your computer on all the time. <laughs> I'm like, no. Most people try not to. I don't know, it's it's good. It's just crazy how you can get like some like minute thing that's happened and somehow mm -hmm. frame it in this way to where it's like this political opinion to where it's like yeah. we need to side with this thing. Like it's just the power standby thing. That's all that it is. But the framing yeah. it of like, oh, they're trying to indoctrinate yeah. the kids with the woke green earth culture and it's like the power savings are minuscule in the end of it, but it's like I know like with the P I I was reading something where it was like if your computer's on like this power saving standby, like it saves like billion you know like millions of tons of coal because it's like every city every town all every person that has this thing just constantly running but i guess it's just nuts how like they can just frame something so dumb like that and then become yeah, sometimes big sometimes point. i i just do it myself because i'm like less wear and tear like i'm not using my computer oh it takes one tap on my keyboard to bring it back to life who cares like I don't how do is that. this such yeah exactly like how wanna... is this such a big deal for people like you got you have to be so bored with your life to get this mad over dumb shit it's like the green m&m like tucker are you gonna f yeah. the m&m like is there a problem with the m&m's like shoes are a little different like i've never dude i never even knew m&m's had gender i'm like dude this shit is chocolate candy <laughs> nah, dude, there ain't no way this like shit you ain't <laughs> to introduce an obese m and Meanwhile, every m and is round. Like, literally, you're, oh, they're all round. Before I came on, bro, before I signed on to, like, before I logged in, I was on Twitter in the bathroom, and, like, bro, the first post that I saw, it's just immediately reflective of, like, that whole site. I can't believe, because some chick who shared the trending tab, and it was the word obese, and it's like, I can't believe Twitter is allowing slurs to trend. I'm like, dude, come oh on. Oh my Obese God, is not a slur. To be fair, I think that's a troll account. That's the woke they, they, mind, the, yeah. that's the woke the mind virus, virus that Elon talks about. <laughs> The woke mind virus. The woke how, virus. Has, wait, how has every single like famous person in the world gone so haywire at this point? What? It's so I funny been... how like Tucker, like so Elon's like this right wing guy now, I guess apparently, and it's like Elon's talking about power saving modes. Bro, <laughs> he's like simping for a dude that made a car that's an entire power saving mode. What the f I don't get it, dude. Like, how is Elon even? Gonna, how is Elon going to talk about climate change now with Tesla, with the audience that he's built up? He'd be like, so guys, about the future of the world and shit. You know why <laughs> yeah. I started this company, right? Like, right? About, about climate change, and everyone's like, what? You believe in yeah, that? You know, yeah, it's you like you know, you're like he, I, I, I don't even think he can use the word zero emission on a Tesla boat anymore <laughs> without people turning it into woke shit. The cobalt oh, mining just to make God. this car oh it contributes so much pollution so it actually offsets the same as like a regular car. <laughs> that makes yeah, it, yeah, yeah. We we I didn't want to actually help. I just wanted to like yeah. offset the emission somewhere else. Now we're more concentrated, yeah. and I've added like child abuse to it as well too. So we can just add extra compounding problems. Dude, uh, it's what do you think about all that stuff with the Tesla auto? pilots like there was that one that eight car pile up where the car just like phantom broke it, just, it was like phantom braking oh they apparently proved that the autopilot was enabled when that happened because wow. tesla does this tesla does this really scummy shit with the autopilot like if you're about to fucking crash it'll be like oh autopilot disengaged please grab your yeah. wheel mother you're already no. dead before you ran halfway into it it, it turns yeah. off like two seconds before yeah. you crash so the no. liability yeah. isn't on Tesla. It's like, well, the autopilot was off when you crashed, so, you know, that, that's your fault. It's not, you know, it's yeah. not Tesla. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've never had an issue with the autopilot on a Tesla myself, personally. Mm -hmm. Like, so, okay, the fucking in-city driving shit is scary because this thing drives like a, a crack addict, okay? Like, look at me get his next fix because it makes a turn <laughs> at, like, 30 miles an hour, okay? Like, you'll be dead stopped. And it'll like floor a turn. Like it'll be yeah, like, oh yeah. right. It'll flip the wheel and it'll like floor it. I'm like, I'll just do this myself. Highways are totally normal, but I have to yeah. imagine, like, how how dead must you be inside when you're driving your car? And like it just starts slowing on a highway. Like if my car does that kind of shit, I hit the brakes and I just drive myself. That's it. Like I don't even yeah. stick to the autopilot shit. I think, dude, I'm surprised that we're even allowing car companies to test this shit on a public road, you know? Like I have like 
anytime I see a Tesla driver on the street now, like they're the new BMW drivers for me. Like I yes. used to make fun of Beamer drivers all the time. I was gonna say that. It's like, <laughs> it's like they never have turn signals in their car. Like you could go, dude, BMWs are crazy. No matter where you go, every BMW driver is the same piece of shit. You know, like you could go to any country, any culture. I would, you could find the fucking Gandhi of a person, right? Like the most honest, noble man in the world. Give the dude a BMW for two weeks and the dude turns into the biggest piece of shit. Never a turn signal. Always has to honk the horn. Always has to rip his car past you for some inane reason. That And yeah. now Tesla guys are the new dudes. Because to Tesla dudes, they just pass out when they're driving. They don't even care. They're like, flick that autopilot on, put the weight on the wheel, and just sleep it off. <laughs> sleep it off. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I was reading this story about um, there was this guy in L.A., so he's been pulled over three times for sleeping with the autopilot on in the morning. Three times. <laughs> That's oh dumb. So, 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 so the first time what happened was the guy was, he was driving down the freeway. It was a cop pulls up on the side. He sees the guy just like knocked out. So he goes behind the guy. He's like, and I guess he tails him for like 10 miles with the lights on and the sirens. And the guy wasn't waking up for like 10 miles. The autopilot's just going, the cops are behind him. And the only moving violation they could give the guy was like for, um, it was like his eyes not on the road or something. And that's it. Huh? So the guy Damn, was Damn, dude, only... California Highway Patrol slacking. Yeah, so, they, so they've been trying to like figure out like some kind of law where it's like, uh, you're not allowed to sleep in your car, blah, blah, blah. But dude, there's stories. Like I was reading about a bunch in Germany of like these guys consistent, because it's like, you got to think about it. If you drive to work seven in the morning, you're super tired, and then you got the autopilot, it's like, you, you know, like you're super tired, like why not sleep? You know, you know well, because okay, so, you don't want to die. But like, you can well, see how someone yeah. can sleep. Like, you're super tired. It's the morning, and oh you're just kind of knocking That's out. Crazy. And, yeah. Three times. I've, uh, I've had it where like I'm driving home, back home at like 11 o'clock, and I am kind of passing out of my car because I have the shit enabled. So I turn it off and I just focus on the road and drive myself just to stay awake. Yeah. Because I, you don't want to like pass. Because I can see that. But they, act, dude, they're so devious with the autopilot. Like Tesla knows how to like do so there's these weights you can buy on an older model s not like the new one with like the cabin camera that like acts like fucking adolf like please mm. stare at the road <laughs> otherwise you will immediately be disengaged <laughs> so like you can buy these weights that'll like wiggle your wheel a little bit now the thing is in the autopilot settings you can literally go in and be like just turn off as many confirmations as you can so as long as you have the weight enabled it'll do all the lane changes and shit for you it's insane like how you can manipulate it to be even lazier again it's like i, I think the tech is cool like i, I definitely yeah. like think it's like because it reminds me of that irobot shit you know and will smith on his police officer salary is buying like an audi and autopiloting supercar somehow detective yeah, yeah. Totally. salary yeah, yeah did oh yeah True. because it's so good in chicago right like but so I thought it was cool like I'm like oh the car drives itself but it's just now I'm like damn we're literally testing beta software on a public road dude I don't like, know like they were saying with that cabin camera so there was a guy that he 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 was driving down the road his eyes were out and then he took a picture printed it out put it on a poster board and then he put it in the driver's seat and Tesla thought someone was actually still driving it so it was like a, like a little kind of like the weight with the wheel but the guy was just mm -hmm. showing like these cameras. It's like they don't have the uh, the infrared they don't have a depth or anything else. Perception, yeah. And it's just like the exploits with that. It's like what's mm -hmm. to say you couldn't put like a pair of sunglasses that make your eyes look like it's on the road, you know? You're gonna have like those goofy sunglasses, yeah, like the fucking saying. disguise shit. That's what yeah. I'm <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, the thing is, it's like, it's so easy to fool these systems that, like, again, it's just, people are going to do it to be lazy on the road, and I just, I don't understand, yeah. like, if you buy a car like that, like, especially if you buy an expensive-ass car like a Tesla, at least drive it yourself, like, what the hell yeah, is know, going yeah. on? Yeah. What's the point? <laughs> yeah, like, like when I'm driving any car like that, like, dude, they're fun to drive. Like, you can rip those down a highway and have a fun time. Who is just setting it to autopilot and just, like, crossing their arms well, and, like, waiting like a... to arrive at their destination? A lot of people <laughs> buy fancy cars for, like, a status thing, right? Mm -hmm. Like, uh, it's not always the fun of the drive. Like, hey. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I mean, but like, they're all taken hey. away, dude. They're gone. Got... Dude, that that guy got... had a... Like... That guy had a GTA 5 garage that got fucking impounded and taken up. away, dude. Man. I mean, he got to live his life at least until, like, whatever comes at him now. <laughs> to live his life. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, at least we all can say our Bugattis are the same color now. Like, not yeah. existing. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Oh, no. uh, I, I just, man. dude, it's so, it's, it's just wild, man. Like, to come across, like, any of this... I don't know, this newer technology shit with these, like, autopiloting systems, I don't know what the future is, but, like, I just know that uh, it's a new state. Is anything Elon-related? Like, I don't know if you guys are big Elon fans anymore, because I've... I used to be, like, a huge Elon, like, oh, this guy's gonna, like, change the future. We're gonna go to space, bro. And now I'm just like, I don't know. Like, this dude's tunneling in Las Vegas. He's making yeah. one tunnel in Vegas, and it's like, dude made, like, a tunnel for Teslas. <laughs> and he's yeah, wait. acting like it's gonna kill traffic. I, I have something for you, Muda, right here. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Hold on. He's gonna bring out a train. Just watch. Dude, this is, like, this is a committed bit. Hold on. He's got something. <laughs> Got the flamethrower. He drives a BMW on the screen. flamethrower. No way. He's got the flamethrower? The Elon one. Bro. Yo. Let's what go, the... dude. What? I had one of those. Bro, well, I you could be the buy biggest those? Elon fan. I had a friend oh my that God. bought me this like probably like four years ago. Yeah, I, both, I, bought, like, I bought one too, yeah. Like super big Elon fans. And I was like, yeah, like same thing. Like, dude, he's going to take us to Mars. We're going to go to the moon. Electric cars, Tesla tunnels, you know, it's going to be great, but it's like, last like two years, I've lost like all respect for that dude. <laughs> yeah, he's a, he's a, it's just, it's, I don't know why he, like, it was a lot better when he was just like, he just stayed out of all this like political bullshit, like buying Twitter and he's like, yeah, I'm just going to run these companies that are like creating new technologies. Yeah, I'm going to make some memes. Yeah, I, I remember yeah. also, like, do you remember when he became richer than um, Jeff Bezos and Jeff yeah. had some yeah. book? That uh, that was talking about how he became the richest man, and so Elon Musk replies to that tweet with like a silver medal, like because he's now the second richest man. Jesus I was like, oh Christ. my god, this is this is a billionaire, and he's out there trolling on Twitter. That's the life. This is so cool. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. that was like playful and cool. Now it's just like, dude, like if you think about it, he to give Elon credit, like he's obviously been the CEO of companies that have like launched a ton of rockets to space. Pretty cool to see, like Extremely self land, cool. like the like rockets that can land and be reused is pretty interesting technology. Definitely a big step. Um, self driving cars, like he's like I don't want to say he made like a lot of Tesla guys will be like, you made the first electric car. I'm like, all right, okay, buddy. Like chill out a little bit. Yeah. Um, <laughs> that was not the first electric car, yeah. but he definitely popularized those electric vehicles. I won't deny that. But like, now he's sitting at a point where like that. Like, dude, I, when uh when I when I bought my car, there was like people who was like, you know, you should buy like Tesla stock, dude. You can buy like five Teslas a year later if you buy the stock. And I wish I could like meet that guy now and tell him like, hey, buddy, what's <laughs> up? What happened to that stock over there? Because uh, yeah, that was it was insane to see how much that company has dropped it's nuts um yeah, yeah it's like people like the a lot of the sims are like but every car company failed i'm like not no. in the same like level no 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 no, no. Yeah, I, I have more faith in crypto zoo right now not gonna lie bro crypto zoo's coming back actually i do you guys actually think logan paul's gonna commit to it and make it like a proper product like he's, he's definitely been will. so he hard no, i feel like you know you saw youtubers making like their they made crypto zoo in like a day Right, like yeah. it's it's not like some crazy genius plan, right? It, it's pretty right. basic. I, I think he'll definitely do it. I don't think it'll ever, you know, start just earning people passive income. But, like, how yeah. many other YouTubers do you think are going to continue with crypto stuff after Zoo, though? Like, you think you think there's going to be another like you you think it's all over now? I don't think any no. influencer is going to touch this shit no. now. I really don't. I think well, like of... reasonable ones, like the crypto Zoo thing. Like, I, I think Logan Paul is going to come back so hard with that. Like. Look at look at every single video that's been put out about that whole situation. That was just like a big marketing campaign. Everyone knows about CryptoZoo now. So if he actually goes through with it, I don't know. Everyone's going to make videos. Maybe some people buy in. I don't know. Dude, I, he's going to flip that into the ultimate redemption arc, dude. I think, <laughs> like, fuck. Hey, it could. He might. Yeah. yeah, but I, I know they say all publicity is good publicity, but when everyone's out there calling you like a fraudster, I don't, I don't know if it's a complete W. <laughs> I think it's bad when, like, you gotta turn off your comment section, because I've never seen the Pauls do that. Like, they've been getting, they, they've, listen, they've been getting roasted harder than anybody on average, okay? Let's just be honest yeah, here, okay? Getting... Like, if, yeah. Yeah, like, they've always been getting roasted. Like, Absolutely. they've never had a community that's, like, actually been like, oh, <laughs> you guys are cool. We're always like, oh, these f***ing tool bags. <laughs> like, no matter what, everyone just calls them tool bags. So now it's like, when he's shutting off the comments, you know, it's like some serious, serious shit, because it's like, 
it's really like, it, like when every one of your comments is like, oh, scammer, oh, scumbag, like it, nobody's taken that easily. Like, and it, it's getting to a point where I'm pretty sure it's impacting like his actual brand deals and everything. Like, I'm pretty sure WWE is probably like, yo, when is this stink gonna wash off you? Like, how long? How long are you gonna be called a scammer? I guess you could say. I don't know. It's are, it's wild. Are they still doing impulsive right now? I believe they are. Yeah. I think they are, yeah. 500,000 yeah. 500, views. They're still getting views on the podcast, man. Yeah, they, I That's mean, the thing is, Logan, Logan, like, this is the thing that always wilded me out, too. It's like, why would you ever have to get involved with these, like, crypto projects when, like, the guy can obviously launch a product like Prime or, like, anything and be rapidly successful? Like, I just don't understand, like, why even go down this road? Because it's not like the money is worth the fucking hit to your brand, hit to your character, right? I don't right? think he expected a hit to his brand, and if not for Copyzilla, there might not have been such a hit to his brand. Like, yeah. um, he, he could have potentially, if this worked mm -hmm. out even moderately well, or even if even if the project failed, but at least the game worked, like, he would have walked away with, like, $20 million for nothing. Mm -hmm. right? I mean, it's kind of like, yeah. you know that Gary V. And we had that V friends. That, you know, I, that... Dude, I heard. I only heard about that from like Mr. Beast. Didn't he move like a shit ton of his cash into that V friends crap? Yeah, yeah. So, so Gary V. He came out with this NFT project, and it was like little hand drawings of like, oh, this is Rhino the Rhinoceros, like really stupid. And um, they were selling like insane. Like he called up like Mr. Beast, Logan Paul. They had that big call, mm -hmm. and he's like, buy V friends right now, and I'm telling you, within a year, you're gonna be like kissing my ass or whatever. They bought them for like ten grand. I think they were worth like. 100 150 grand at like their peak gary v made out so much and that kind of was like gary v got in at the right time and he kind of got out at the right time and i think mm -hmm. all these creators saw that to where it's like you can't make a couple million you're gonna make like 30 40 50 million dollars which is what gary v made like he was even saying like i'm pretty much set you know for the rest of my life yeah. just from that project but you know but That's it's like insane. It, it's like it's like it's just you've got these like crazy and and the thing I've never understood about it and it's like maybe it's like and I'm I'm too old of a person or like maybe I'm too jaded and like cynical, bro. It's a fucking photo file. What are you doing? What what is wrong with you? you just what is actually it, your issue? Like you just don't, I don't understand, bro. Dude, do you so aggressive? Do you guys <laughs> even feel bad about people getting scammed anymore? Because I really, no. I honestly do not. Like, I'm just like, I if don't you bought, at all, bro. I like yeah. it. I look forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> like, if you if you get if you buy an NFT, like, I just want to like give you like the biggest dunce award. Like, I, I want to have like awards that I can just hand out, like like biggest dipshit award of like exactly. I'm like, you're, like it's not like hold this L. Like, I actually want to give you a plaque. I'm like frame that somewhere. Like, put it up on your wall because that's what you get for buying crypto zoos and all this crazy dumb shit. Because uh, like. The thing is, like, a lot of people fall into it because during the pandemic, I had a lot of sympathy because people who didn't, like, people who lost their jobs were, like, jumping into whatever an influencer pushed because, like, at least I'll double my money and make, like, rent money or, like, groceries or whatever. Yeah. But now it's, like, actual, like, hustle culture, like, dipshits who are, like, jumping on the affiliate marketing bandwagon and all this crap and thinking they're going to make a crap ton of cash out of it. Like, it's sad to know that I have a cousin myself who's, like, he doesn't do shit with his life. Period. Like, has nothing going on. Oh, damn. On. You called him a cousin, not yeah. even your aunt's kid. This is serious. No, like, this is, like, this is... I, I kind of wish this person wasn't my family because of how stupid they are. Um, so anytime we talk, there's always an aura of, con like, condescension to me, right? Like, because I'm a younger person. Mm -hmm. But then at the same time, like, oh, what are you doing with your life? He's like, you know, I'm going between jobs. I'm like, what is your job? I'm like, yeah, I'm going back to school. I'm like, what is your school? He's like, he signed up to some dude's course learning Amazon, like, fucking nice. FBA. Yeah, I'm like, that. I'm like, dude, that's not, that's not a valid education to go into that's just you getting scammed he's like but this guy's making a crap ton. i'm like he's not making money off the amazon fba dumbass he's making money off, off you, you buying it yeah, yeah. Right. I'm like you don't okay. so speaking of scams and things that i've been seeing like really popular and a lot of people pushing you know jet chat gbt how it's like everywhere now yeah yes. i have seen so many channels make videos talking about how chat gbt the ai thing is gonna generate any youtuber infinite money it'll just make you infinite content and you could tell all of these videos that are praising chat gbt were made by the ai like they all yeah. sound like that <laughs> they have the same like script and adjectives that they use to describe it it's like well it's 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 like the people who are like listen i it's it's like the ai art debate right like listen i think ai artists like 
if you're going to get, like, replaced, you might not have the highest quality work if the AI is getting rid of you, right? Like, one of my buddies had this yeah. discussion with me. He does, like, commission work. He, do, he does, like, actual commission work for, like, YouTubers, like, thumbnails, whatever. And, uh, like, his art is very, very distinctive. And, like, if you, give, if, you, if you give him a commission prompt, he'll make it the way that you want, right? You can't get that same level of, like granularity with an AI, right? Like, it's not going to happen I, yet. I, I agree and disagree. So, in regards to AI, like the chat GBT, like the text stuff versus the art stuff, I think the major difference is a lot of artists put, like, you know, they put their effort into creating art and art AIs yeah. are when they build up some sort of image, they are just mm -hmm. taking bits and pieces from the art that belongs to different right. artists. When it comes to um, yeah, I guess the I guess the advancement. You're right. Like in a few years, it'll get to a point where like it'll yeah. really, really become like that good. I just think for now, right? Like even when it comes to ChatGPT, right? Like a lot of these tools, like there's people who are like, you can use ChatGPT to write malware. And I was working on this video, and I like I told ChatGPT to write like actual malware, like actual, ma and, and then I looked at the code, and I'm like, this is like a baby writing. Code. Like, this is not going to do anything. So, like, <laughs> then, if, like, if you play, if you play with yeah. ChatGPT, like, you can, yeah. you can be basic. You could say, like, write a story, and it'll say, The mm -hmm. Darkness Lord woke up in the morning, and you're like, Oh my god, this is really bad, right? But if yeah. you give it enough details and enough prompts, it'll actually mm -hmm. make the thing that you want it to make. Yeah, I think it's a cool tool for, like, if a YouTuber wanted to script out something, like, create, like, a rough script that they could f*** with later. But, like, uh, I think if you're a YouTuber getting replaced by... Ch okay, forget the artist comparison. I think, like, yeah, obviously it's feeling art that way. Right. But it's, when you get to the... I'm with you. Okay, yes. when, you, when yes. you get to the chat GPT comparison, like, for a YouTuber, I think... Oh, yeah. Like, if you're a YouTuber that's getting replaced by an AI, you probably weren't an entertaining YouTuber to f***ing begin that's with, is what I'm going to say. I, I agree with <laughs> like, this take. I don't know if you saw, like, like uh, I think it was Pokemane <laughs> that went on, like, on Twitch and was saying, it's terrifying. <laughs> ChatGPT could just take over streamers. We won't even have to be streamers anymore. It'll all just be the AI doing the streaming. And I'm like, well, I'm like, if an AI can replace you streaming... You're f you're boring. Like I'll yeah, tell you, right, like boring. I don't think it, I don't think an AI could replace Umbaville. Okay, like I don't think that could happen. Like oh, I've seen enough no. of your f***ing streams on like you know when you're like looking at TikTok memes and shit. I'm like it will not replace that commentary. It'll not. No. It cannot replace human commentary that has like a specific like a uh, comedy to it, like a specific style. Like it can't replace a Vince Vintage video. It can't mm -hmm. replace a Nuxtock. It can't replace like it won't be able to replace me because it won't find like a cra the AI can't be stupid enough to replace me. You're like, that's the problem, right? So, like, there's enough <clears throat> distinctive human characteristics that we have that we want, like, but if you're a streamer and, like, if you're getting replaced by an artificial intelligence, that just means, you like, you're it. too generic. Yeah, you're too you generic of a it. person, right? Like, so, like, how are you, because because the way that I see, like, an AI, right? Like, I think, oh, what could it, like, Watch Mojo could replace Watch Mojo. And I'm like, it's not like Watch Mojo was a crazy top 10 channel to begin with. It was like Wikipedia for top 10. Like, yeah, I don't well, know well, if it Watch could... Mojo could definitely get replaced by an yeah. AI. Like, without a doubt. Same with all oh, like the, yeah. the kids, uh, kids story time animation videos, like that. All that stuff can get replaced by AIs. I just, dude, I just want to see AI making Spider-Man Elsa, f yeah. Elsa good shit. Like, I just want to see it like dip into that. New chat but GPT yeah. prompt. <laughs> yeah, like the chat GPT shit is like, if an AI is going to replace a content creator, the content wasn't that amazing to begin with. The content all. wasn't that's, that's personalized. Just, yeah. Like, exactly. chat, chat GPT isn't going to create a personality. It could create mm -hmm. the content, but it can't create the personality. Exactly. That's like the that, that's the like it could. It, I think it'll succeed making like top ten. Like you know those like Wikipedia. Like you know what? Like exactly. Like the the Wikipedia videos where like you can hear yeah. the AI voice. Like if you start the video off and it's it's just a TikTok voice. Like you just know. Right. Like, or, you, uh, like immediately you know, hits reading, you. Reading reading Reddit, reacting yeah. to Reddit, or um. Four chan oh. green text stories. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. And it could write. It'll create the four chan green text story. Like it'll create yeah. this story and then read it and it'll you know piss out that content but it's not like or i, I could also see it doing like uh, the complete timeline and history of pokemon in 1996 it began when this dude wanted to have sex with a turtle yeah exactly. and then like oh, you know whatever <laughs> happened so like that type of stuff it can definitely mimic but as far as a personality i i can't see it but like 4chan stuff it's gonna ruin that entire market because it's like it went through like an entire like we're out there like looking for threads right like good threads to showcase on youtube and now this motherfucker can generate threads like just like dude somebody could wake up like a 
Like, like, a, like, like, imagine if, like, we had a content creator. I'm going to call him Jake just for the sake of it, right? Like, Jake wakes up one day, and Jake realizes, damn, how do I want to make content? Do I actually, why don't I just AI generate my entire thing? So Jake makes, like, a one-minute intro to a video, and then Jake just generates, like, 10 4chan threads and gets an AI to create it. Dude, that'll be the future of, like, some of this AI chat GPT content. And it's content that if you look real hard enough, you might be able mm. to find it floating around on YouTube anyways, right? <laughs> Man, if there was a hypothetical Jake doing that, they yeah. would probably own a sweatshop in Vietnam. Yeah, <laughs> like fucking... I love hypothetical Jake. <laughs> yeah, dude. Jake. Dude, I'm just saying, like, this, like these Jake-type fellows on the internet, like, just these types of characters, yeah. you know? And they can come on, they can they can get, like, you know, pink jackets and, like, weird hairstyles and, like, cool... Sh you know, they can walk in with a personality to start off with the first yeah. minute of the video, but then it just switches off to... An Some people may be too normie to realize, like, it even happened in the first place. They might, like, they might be able to blur the line so good they can go from a human intro to, like, AI output... <laughs> Without the audience ever realizing, Bait switching. and that's yeah, and, and the and the AI you could feed it so much information that it, it could just look at like you could capitalize a niche. Like for instance, you could talk about like the Chinese financial systems and like mm -hmm. how 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 these things are about to fail every other day. Yeah. <laughs> like, see, fuck. see the, the funny thing is when it comes to like this AI thing, the AI is logical, but it's not necessarily going to be telling you the truth. No, it's right? Not. Like it it doesn't know truth. It can't you know differentiate right and wrong however it can analyze logic so it could give you a i tried this i uh, i put into the ai please give me a dissertation on how on the similarities of anime and veganism and it gave me this whole massive massive story about how you see anime talks about helping people and empathy and veganism too and and like and it ended off with like and that's why the rise of anime culture in the west directly impacted the rise of veganism, which is like not at all true. Like, what are you talking? I don't about? know, bro. The chat GPT <laughs> said it so much. Have you heard the students that just got that? Like, this one student got like caught submitting a chat GPT essay <gasps> into his class, no! and the and professor was like, This is written too well. You used chat GPT, didn't you? Oh my god, that's so should, true, though. Honestly, should any universe. Should a university stop you from doing that? Is a yes. question like isn't... They, they have these new software. They're, I think there was like a like there's like a new startup that just came out, and um, they have like a Chat GPT detection software. Mm -hmm. So they'll run like so. Let's say okay, let's write an essay on this and this prompt. They'll run it through like all the different prompts, get all the different variations, and then it's like for the teacher they could run it through this like. Remember that that Turnitin.com? Yeah. Where it would like detect the plagiarism. So same thing, but for the Chat GPT. Mm. And I feel like that'd be easy to find because it's like once it's on the chat GPT, you know, that's got their own servers and, you know, I'm sure it's a, uh, I don't know, like it's already written on the internet. So I'm sure it'd be easy to detect like plagiarism. If that makes any know. sense. It's, it's, it's I don't crazy. Know. I don't know. Like, there you know that yeah. chat GPT, sorry, next chat GPT just uh, got a medical license. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, it, no it, passed, it passed the exams uh, to get a medical license. Of no way. way. No. Yeah, I had that. Oh, yeah, oh, right okay. here. Not right here. Oh. It just got a, yeah, yeah. like, right, look at this shit. It just got a medical license and MBAs. And it passed law school. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We're fucking buddies. <laughs> Go on, Max. That's insane. Dude, that's crazy. And yeah. it, I yeah. think what's scary is, like, this is just the beginning of it. Mm -hmm. Imagine five years from now. You know? But, oh, yeah. I, I think, think five years it'll be like the Mass Effect like shit where you had like that AI on your ship that you talked to and they were like actually conversing with you like you're a fucking human and everything. Like we'd, we're getting to that point, right? Like, I wouldn't doubt it. I could imagine coming in and like and literally talking to like Alexa and be like, Alexa, do all this shit around my house and it might be able to like fuck around with all the smart stuff in my and like you like I could tell Alexa I'm like lock the doors, fucking power on the computer, log in, open this like I could probably get like a like I could see an AI bot like replicating very, very basic tasks. Like imagine how much it could affect life for a YouTuber, right? Dude, like you film everything and I, it's like just sync up video editing. Ahead. Video editing. There's no reason why ChatGBT can't just download uh, every stock photo that ever existed and match my words to stock photos flashing on screen and put mm -hmm. subtitles and stuff. Like, they already have something like that. It's like an AI editor, and you like feed it your script with no like way. the audio thing, 
and then I'll, it'll like find all of like the relevant photos and like videos from online and then I'll no splice way. it together. Yeah, I, I was looking into it. Um, it's kind of like for a lot. So like, let's say you have like uh, some like stock photo subscription you pay in. You could like connect it to that thing and then it'll pick all of those stock photos and videos to edit from. It's kind of That's wild. That's crazy. That is wild. Yeah, but, but like the world's changing. I'm just I'm just hearing how to create top tens with rapid ease, like make it edit something for you, and then you just edit like the top ten graphics on top of it that it fails. <laughs> Jesus Christ! Yo, when this thing uh, actually exists and it takes no effort to like make these channels, I say the four of us have a competition. We'll each have our own ChatGPT YouTube channel, and feed it ideas so that it just generates the content mm -hmm. itself, and whoever's first to 100,000 subs wins. What I'll do you one better. I was taking a, I took a class recently. Uh, I'm just gonna go to Vietnam. I'm gonna start a sweatshop. Oh, get like yeah. 20 kids. I'm gonna show them all Chat GPT. I'm gonna have 20 channels that run nice. super successful. Bro, you Chat should call GPT them trannels, videos. bro. You should call them bro. 100. percent It's gonna be like, yeah, that's gonna be the company name, the Trannel like Limited Inc or whatever. <laughs> and then the best part is. Out of all the ad tips money I'm going to make, I'm only going to give like 2% back to the kids because that'll be more money than they'll ever see back home. It's like the ultimate capitalist grind set, yeah. bro. Like fucking full Sigma, no fucks given. You 2%. You're not giving oh, them so a commission? A commission? So slave to the chat GPT. <laughs> No, 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 no. I'm just using... Ch I'm enslaving the human beings. No, oh, I wouldn't do that to AI. Bruce. That's just rude. Chat GP, okay, yeah, so ChatGPT so. is just the tool yeah, that I'm living. giving them. ChatGPT like, yeah, is like, an American, okay? <laughs> yeah, dude. There's laws against that shit, brother. You can't do that. Come yeah. on. I've watched Pokemon. I know a thing or two. Yeah. Yeah, just start. I can imagine, like, because we already kind of have that with YouTube. Like, a lot of those family, like, story channels out of India, like, the animated channels are literally just slave labor fucking yeah. sweatshops. Like, I, I see them all the time. Like, Indian kids are like, come over to my house, like, really small kids. Mom and dad will just give them their iPhone and they'll put on these, like, these Indian, like, story time channels. And, like, sometimes I, I look at the channel and I'm like, yo, your recommended is about to talk about, like, how this, like, like, it gets into, like, the really disgusting story time channels that I can't mention because of, like, YouTube guidelines. That's how bad they get. So I'm just, like, looking at these story time stuff. I'm like, who's making this? And then I look at other companies, and they're, like, these shell corporations of yeah. India. Then you look further, and it's, like, literally people making, like, penny. Like, you know how we complain about, like, anime artists in Japan getting paid for all? Yeah. Nothing. Bro, they're living, like, they're living like kings compared to these artists, okay? <laughs> like, Jesus Christ, let's not even, let's not even go there. They're making like literally a dollar a day, <laughs> making the most ask story time content on YouTube. You, you know what's and, crazy? Um, oh yeah, sorry. Go sorry. ahead. No, go ahead. No, um, I was over at my 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 girlfriend's parents' house, and the dad was like watching. He's like, "Oh, let's watch some YouTube." So we're watching these like top ten best Air Force planes that have ever been flown, and it was like this like AI voice with like some like super generic script. And it's crazy, like the average person, I don't think they could tell what's kind of like those stock meme like. Kind of like robot AI. Kind my, of dad my dad can't. My dad can't. Yeah, like, dude, like, 100%, like they can't. Yeah. You know, my, my like dad's kids. a yeah. My dad's a super educated guy, but like when he goes on YouTube, bro, his YouTube is so fucking ruined. Like I go yeah. to his house <laughs> and I open up his like YouTube app. It's just like so you got my channel because he's like I'm your biggest fan, and I'm yeah. like oh thanks dad. And then I look at the next channel. It's like concept cars. It's like this yeah. weird ass looking like Mercedes Benz. Like he, he'll always say, like, do you hear about what Mercedes? is doing i'm like what are they doing they're making a car with no doors and i'm like dad you're looking at a cg render dude he was watching gta 5 footage with max graphics like some guy was testing an audi dude some guy it was so insane like some guy was ripping an audi supercar and he's just like like they filmed it in gta with like the director mode yeah. so it looked really nice and so like when he when the car's being ripped initially i'm like oh that looks really nice and then i saw like los santos in the back i'm like no oh dad what are you doing dude he was the same guy that when the world cup was running when i went to his house he was watching fifa gameplay he fell for the fifa trap dude. bro <laughs> yeah <laughs> Yeah, I think this is a troll, bro. Like, look at this. Yeah, Obese I, I is the... It's, yeah, read it, read it. Go, go, no, no, go, no, go, no, hold on. We gotta share this on the screen. This is uh, how great it is. I, I just, I opened Twitter, like, and it was the nope. thing that was right at the top. And I Bros. was like, you were just talking about that. I think that's, oh. a, uh, I think that's a joke, right? Uh, um, not a, I honestly look at her tweets. 
Seems like okay. uh, seems like a s satire. Well, well, obese is the N word for plus size people, uh, I guess. All right. What Doctor Anita B? Ah, no, it's a troll, bro. Yeah, Anita yeah, B. Yeah, Come yeah. on, man. I was gonna say it seems yeah, like yeah, it's yeah. just like such a dumb name and like. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's a <laughs> troll, I want it to be real though. <laughs> Anita B. Eaton. Yeah. Anita B. Come on. Wait, what? What's your college degree? Wait, she has a degree. <laughs> Wait, uh, B. U. University to all who, who to whom. Who Bedu, Bedu, Bedu. I think it's B. Yeah, Bedu. Maybe. A PhD yeah, she in a... body positive medicine. Doctor Hungry. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, look at look at look at Jake Wu's response. Jake wait, Wu wait, response who? looks real. Wait, wait, where is it? No, I think it was a reply to one of the tweets. Whatever, it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, it looks fake. <laughs> <laughs> right there. <laughs> dude, actually, wait, you're right. The people that fall for this, no, like, just look at that, the name okay, real quick. Dude, you're 100% right. This is obviously comedy, uh, or yeah. satire, but the people that liked the tweet didn't oh, know Oh, Elon, that. wait. Did Elon tweet on it? That was, no, 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 he like didn't. That was like a yes. recommended one. The profile pic is AIG. Yeah, it's an obvious troll account. But there are people that, like, look at this and they act like, listen, I'm just going to say it like it is, okay? There's, there's... It's a I get being body positive, okay? Body positivity, I get being happy with who you are. Mm -hmm. But at a certain size, <laughs> you're going to die quicker, okay? I'm just putting it out there, all right? Simple as that. Do you have any signs to back that, Mudahar? Yeah, I do, actually. It's, it's, it's called Where? decades of FDA, decades of U.S. medical research. Decades you can't trust of the science. The, that's true. But what if all the... Wait, you're telling me all the, all the countries that hate each other just agreed on the same science? <laughs> that, that's, that's, that's the biggest conspiracy buster. I'm like, wait a minute. I get it. The U.S. and Russia hate mm -hmm. each other, okay? It's like an int intrinsic thing. Y'all hate the Ruskies. They hate the fucking Yankees. But somehow your scientists are like, wait a minute. Being fat causes you to die quicker in both countries they just agreed on that together <laughs> like what the fuck? I, I i'm just i'm just gonna say it like it is listen I, I have plenty of like fat friends but i'm just gonna say it like it is if you're fat you are fat okay you are obese all right you're not listen there's plus sized okay there's sometimes you can even use the word thick but fat is very easy to identify, okay? Very easy to figure out if you've got... Pro if, you're, if you're my age and you get up and you've got back problems and shit like that... Well, I guess anybody can... That's a bad example. But bad if you example. get up and, yeah. like... If you get up at my age and you're and like, you're damn, I feel... Yeah, like if you walk across your house and you're like, oh, man, okay, that's a workout for a day. You've got, you've got to, like, reassess what's going on, right? Mm -hmm. Like, that's if you not can't... Good. Because if think you can't it, do basic physical activity, go ahead. No, it, I think it's like if you look down at yourself naked and you don't see it below your belt, <laughs> I think that's a little bit too big. Yeah, that, sometimes it's not limit. even that. Listen, you, you, can, you can be like ethnically challenged and just be born small, right? Like that could be a f***ing thing. Hey, that's true. <laughs> ethnically uh, yeah. challenged. Ethnically <laughs> challenged. <laughs> I'm just saying, like, if you go out, like, I have to shovel my driveway today, right? I'm not going to walk back in my house and go, like, oh, that was a f***ing workout. No, I'm going to go out there for, like, 20 minutes, shovel my driveway, and be done with my life. You know, I'll walk back in. Like, my neighbor, who's significant, he's, like, my dad's age, right? Like, if he hires somebody to clean out his, like, driveway, mm -hmm. that makes sense. You're that age, like, yeah, you deserve some rest. But if you're my age and you're going to walk out that way and be like, damn, basic physical activity is winning me, you need to hit a gym or something or you need to like calorie deficit yourself if you or got whatever. winded going to get food don't eat the food don't exactly <laughs> don't, it, don't eat but the it, food it, it's like it's like yeah can i afford to lose a few pounds absolutely does that mean do i go to a fucking like fast food joint and i'm like let me buy the greasiest fucking burger that i can like no like at some point you have to have like for, you have to you have to restrain yourself. You know what I mean. Yeah, yeah. Like honestly, you gotta you gotta summon your your inner doctor Anita B. Eaton and decide. <laughs> <laughs> Am I gonna get a PhD? <laughs> that that is like, but it, but it's so insane. Like I, I get it. Like it's a troll account, but so many people have this weird belief that like it's just a size. Like no, I'm totally okay, healthy at every size. I'm like that's not a thing though, and it's one of those things where it's like. It's the only thing that I've ever agreed with Andrew Tate on. Like, when Andrew Tate is like, yeah, bro, there's no such thing as healthy at every size, and you gotta f 
can lose some weight. Is he wrong? Like, is anybody in that red pill community wrong when they say that shit? No. <laughs> like, you can't be looking like EDP 445 and expect to live into your 80s, okay? Or your 90s or something. Like, you, Or at least live healthy, even well before that. Like... I don't know. It's it's wild. I don't know. I'm not complaining that EDP four four five is over <laughs> overweight and not gonna make it to his nineties. Dude, I don't give a f man. Like when he got like kidney failure, there was yeah, people were like D when people are like, Don't you feel bad? I'm like, why would I feel bad about EDP? Like what the f <laughs> like like <laughs> I guess it's base to think of it like this and I've never heard of it, but it's like anytime somebody's like, Don't you feel bad for pedophiles? I'm like, No. No, I don't actually. Yeah, I, In I, fact, I don't know if I that's sleep based. pretty well. It's like that just I, happened that again with the, yeah. the police girl thing. You know, the police girl that had sex with everyone in the precinct, right? And I was like, yeah. I don't know. I was making fun of her or something. I saw some meme, and uh, people were saying, "Well, don't you like feel bad all the hate she's getting online?" I think it's funny. Yeah, I'm like, well, she cheated on her husband. No, like, anybody that cheats on their partner, I don't care. <laughs> like, you deserve like, no, it, I guess. I, I don't feel bad, actually. I saw the funniest thing, too. Like, when I wake up, when I woke up and saw that, like, my brother sent me. It's like, guess what? He sent me the image of that one girl, like, the, the police officer girl, mm -hmm. and under it was, like, squad wipe from Warzone. <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> like, no. Because <laughs> I looked at the whole story. I'm like, there's no way dude this and then and I, I gotta i gotta look at that and i'm just the people that were getting so personally invested into the story i'm like first off anybody that deserves to be the, the only person is like the husband and he's willing to take her back which i think yeah. is really stupid like if a, if a girl cheats on you can walk away you know like leave you have like god and the government has provided you a fucking doorway out of that shitty relationship. <laughs> Take it, bro. Because you don't have to give up half your shit. You don't have to like entertain any. You can leave, but he still chooses to take her back. It's like what the. Listen, the man's a cuck. Listen, not everyone, yeah, yeah. He, he summoned his inner Sneeko, and he, you know, he just kept rolling. I, dude, I love when the red pill community guys turn out to be, like, cuckolds, and I'm like, wait, how can you even say you're a fucking alpha? Like, what? Like, I'm sorry, if some guy was, like, hitting on my girl in public, I'm gonna fucking knock a tooth out. I'm gonna do something, all right? Like, there's some jealousy complex that kicks in, and people are like, are you insecure? I'm like, no, it's just called being a dude you know like <laughs> if some other guy croaches onto your territory you, you first off you're like back off okay you do the vitality shit right you're like back <laughs> off okay back, <laughs> like, just back the fuck off you treat you like a whole person. person yeah <laughs> And then if they do it again, you buy it. Like, Jesus Christ. I, dude, I love the Vitaly shit. I, that is my favorite. Vitaly was my favorite character because out of all influencers, he just knew that he was the bad guy. Like, he just, he str literally called himself the villain for crying out loud. He didn't care. Like, anybody that filmed a video on Skid Row, Los Angeles, okay? <laughs> In Mecca for homeless people, right? <laughs> Yeah. hands out food and it, he just leaves it he didn't have to leave the clip in by the way too he he saw the video and he's like yeah that's good that makes me look like a bot that that's raw bro that makes me look like a chad <laughs> like just telling the homeless people to back <laughs> off i'm like this is my kind of hero because he's not like the other at them yeah like he's not like the other homeless like you know fucking exploiters right like it wasn't like you were watching like another channel who's like like doing social experiments he's just like i'm gonna give him food you know, if the homeless people are f***ing with me, I'm going to f*** with them back. All right? Like, they're people, too, just like me. <laughs> like, it's my favorite shit. Like, I love Vitaly. And then, obviously, he gets arrested, and, you know, that's a whole different story right there. Now he's just doing pretty sure. Like, he's just straight Dude, running. Have you seen it? No. Nope. Vitaly Uncensored? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's yeah. so weird. The, one of the first ones I saw was, like, this chick just covered in chocolate syrup, and it was so... Just, like, I was trying to figure out who the market would be for that. <laughs> you know? <laughs> Wait, is she doing like blackface or something? I'm like, no, it's just like chocolate syrup. Like, she's got like... like ice cream. <laughs> it was disgusting, bro. I, uh, I, I ma dude, ma maybe that's what makes him a genius. Like, he just has like a special market he's tapping into. Dude, if you think just... about it, you have like the opposite of Andrew Tate right there. You have both people in like the sex game, except one of them isn't getting trafficking charges. One of them is just turning them into Dairy Queen models and like <laughs> going at them. <laughs> yeah, I, I didn't know Vitaly was doing that nowadays. I just remember him the... from that H3 video. The one where you like. Oh, you, like... the one where he's like jacking off or like they made fun of him for the Bang Bro shit? No, no, it was like the one where it was like the homeless. Uh... Yeah. that were like giving out stuff so like they had the whole h3 video but 
that one Vitaly part where he's like, just back off. And then Ethan's doing it I love it that, too, video, but... that clip so much. Yeah, he's my favorite. Dude, he is my favorite character. Like He's up he's up there with Blippi for some of the coolest characters on the internet. So how do you Blippi, feel dude. about these Mr. Beast clones that are just... Wait, who's a Mr. Beast clone? Hold on. You're giving me some new lore here. Well, there's a lot of Mr. Beast clones. Everyone's a Mr. Beast clone today. Like, all the Wait, big like, guys. It's like a new what genre YouTuber. Just yeah. Mr. Beast clones. Type in, like, uh, like, Air Rack. Or that's... Yeah. Um, I know that dude. Uh, there's a guy named... What? It's like Bean or something. Mr. Bean? Bean? Not Mr. Mr. Bean. Bean. <laughs> it's like... Yeah. Uh, I know you're... Mat uh, Matthew Bream. Matthew Bean. Yeah, Ma Matthew Bean. Bream. <laughs> Whatever his name is. <laughs> there are so Mr. Many Bean. Of them. Oh. Matthew yeah. Bream is like the worst, dude. Okay, I, I didn't <laughs> see him. At, I, didn't, I don't know who this guy is. Dude, this guy oh, just like screams. He's like, and then we're gonna go today, and we're gonna go to McDonald's and fuck my mom. Like, <laughs> I oh, believe it. Dude, this is this is like, this is content literally created for children. Like, Unborn children, I'm pretty sure. I opened a fake Mr. Beast burger. Yes. Overnight in the world's cheapest luxury hotel. Oh, dude. It's like it's like a bit of cancer from everyone. Have I, you haven't seen this? No, I've never seen this shit before. This is new. So this is like over the last year, there's been all of these channels that have been um, kind of doing that whole same segment as Mr. Beast, like spending a lot of money, making a big spectacle, doing the same types of thumbnails, the audience, they have their own little crew, you know, dumping in some like serious money to do these videos. You know, like this guy, I think his parents gave him like a hundred grand or something. And then he like rented out this office, hired his friends, and then just kind of, they, they never get the same views as Mr. Beast, but. But they're crazy. making good, yeah. They're making good money, but it's crazy because Mr. Beast will like, uh, you know, he'll, he'll like, collab, collab with, with them. them because at the end but, of the day, they're, you know, they're good advertisement for him. Yeah, it's, everyone wants the original, but it's just kind of wild because I've seen Mr. Beast talk about this where he's like, uh, people are like, what do you, how do you feel about the Mr. Beast clones? And he's like, well, tell them to stop doing it and tell them to be original. I'm trying to up the game or whatever, but he keeps like collabing with them, you know, which is kind of weird. But no, I, I get it. Maybe, at the end of the day, uh, man, that's what it's all about. That's why he goes on a million podcasts and uh, like clips yeah. of him are everywhere because he's always getting, you know, promotion from a different area. Yeah, he's getting clipped up and like shipped around on TikTok, and that's just how it goes. Like, and it's the same thing with like the interstate, like Umpaville. Like when you ha interviewed him, bro, that was like a solid month of just I saw your face on TikTok, and that was it, dude. It was like, crazy. That shit like, literally changed the trajectory of my entire career. Yeah. Just all the clips of people just like... Have you seen it, Vince? Have you seen the, the clips of me interviewing Andrew Tate? I had no idea. I mean, I've like watched a lot of Andrew Tate stuff, but I had no yeah. idea. Have you ever seen the autist interviews Andrew Tate? <laughs> Aut that was me. Autist okay. interviews? Yeah, that's cute. What? Yeah. I had no idea yeah. he did this. Yeah, like okay. literally, I'm, I'm all over Facebook. I'm the poster child for, for many Sigma male pages, or was at least for months. And then they realized I was a beta male. I, you were a beta male? Yeah, I'm a beta male. <laughs> Do people literally beta. DM me and like, Don't joke about Andrew Tate. <laughs> the Matrix is after him. They're after him. <laughs> I'm like, damn, it's brother, like, you right, are. Dude, he's a fucking comedian in my opinion anyways. He's a funny guy. He doesn't give a shit about jokes. So, so what's your yeah. take on him? Andrew Tate. My take on Andrew Tate? Yeah. Uh, I mean, what part of him? A lot, of, a lot of people head. say he's like a grifter, you know, he's kind of, um, you know, like, like, do you feel like he's more of a grifter? Do you feel like he's more of an entertainer? Do you feel like it's a mix in between? I feel like he's an absolute, absolute entertainer on t in terms of what he puts out. And yeah. then like his business practices are just pure grift. I mean, yep. like. With with all his Discord, all the all the the classes and stuff, and you're not hamburger gonna make... like yeah whatever Hustler yeah. University and shit. Burger yeah. University, yeah. Um, you're not gonna make any money from those from those things. But that's the same with everyone who does those. They're all f and you can just you can find all that information online easily. Yeah. And very little of it is actually applicable in your life unless you, uh, you know, are extremely hardworking. But even at that point, you don't even need the the advice. Like mm -hmm. it just. The business is a grift, in my opinion, and I think he's very entertaining. I, I see, yes. I take nothing that he says at face value, and I see nothing as not a joke. I think it's all a joke, genuinely. So, so when all of these like text messages and um, you know stuff like that is coming out in the recordings, do you think that's mm -hmm. um, 
A Does joke. that kind of change things? Or, <laughs> yeah. No, no. Uh, that, to me, that's just his business grift. I mean, I think he's a, a marketing genius. I think he's a, a funny guy. I think he's an entertaining guy. Um, and I think he's probably also a, definitely a terrible person as well. Because mm. you can you can do yeah. both. I think that's just... I mean, he's obviously manipulating people and, and misleading people. And he's got a group yeah. um, of people. He seems like a criminal. He seems like just a funny criminal. Yeah. You know? To yeah. me. I mean, it's, I mean, it, it seems I th- so I, yeah, simple. I, I think it's just, you, it doesn't have to be mutually exclusive, you're right. Like, you can be yeah. an entertaining figure, but, like, at the yeah. same time, you can be a piece of shit entertaining yeah. figure, too, right? Absolutely. Like, I mean, George yeah. Bush was funny. He's killed millions of people. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <Exactly. laughs> so, well, yeah, I, I don't know. Like, I would talk to him again. I, I yeah. That's one, yeah. of my, one of my problems is, like, I, I just don't see the point in just, like, it, cutting people out and banning them and blocking Like, it just doesn't make any sense. It just makes it louder, in my opinion. It just makes more people want to know what's going on but I think honestly more- blocking him has like a problem too because like when here's the thing when he got unbanned like Cobra Tate Twitter that's when like people can like look through everything that you've ever posted and like actually gain all the evidence off of you so it's like right. the more you let some of these people blow out hot air the more they implicate themselves they're actually doing dumb shit you know so right you know, know. self stitching that guy did oh dude that's a that's a that's a big problem too because like i think his lawyers are gonna like i think that's when he that's what's gonna be used against him it's the whole reason why he's getting detained so hard is because he self-snitched on like the whole like i have over 10 fucking passports and i can like enter in and out of romania if i choose I don't to know. It's there's like, also bro, that throwaway line that he loves saying that uh yeah i could just make one phone call and your body would be in a ditch somewhere it's like i love that, that. yeah that's the biggest self-snitch in the world like i hear that I'm like, wait a minute what you know it's actually yeah. interesting you kind of put it like that uh Oompaville, because it kind of this. I think it's like the same thing with Sneeko. Sneeko is super entertaining to watch. The dude's super energetic. You know, it's kind of oh, it's yeah. pretty funny at you know times. Sneeko, Sneeko is funny. Like, there's no joke. Like, there's a he's reason why he's funny. been watched. Yeah, great energy. But at the end of the day, <laughs> I think the guy is a little bit kind of. I think he's grifting, but it's almost at some point you start saying these crazy beliefs. You start getting more views, I don't, making I don't more money. I think he's grifting. I think I he think believes he's... it like hundred percent. I think he's a hundred percent believer in what he speaks. I've spoken to Sneeko once, and it's like, I think it's a combination of him being really young. Yeah. Like, cause cause he's younger than me. He's younger than all of us. And it's like when you're that young, it's easy to like fall in for a lot of these traps he actually believes what he's saying and to an extent i can respect that too right like he's not grifting in my opinion he he mm-hmm. believes 100 percent what he's what he's yeah. saying so it's like yeah yeah is, that's where go ahead sorry is the it, like that's the one thing that i'm always like what's a grip like what's a grifter i understand what a grifter is i, I understand i think, it, I think. I, the way that i define it at least my, me personally is like somebody who you can obviously tell it's like they're smart enough to know what they're saying isn't complete like it's, so like, it's like defamation <laughs> Not defamation. It's like <laughs> let's say, let's say that me and you were sitting down and like, and okay. I was. I think it's uh, a like, lack of I'm... intellectual honesty when you know you're exactly. not being fully upfront with yeah. someone and you're still selling like you them know the... that like let's say that me and you were arguing about like fucking some nutritional bullshit, right? Like, fucking, you obviously know your facts. I also know the same facts you do, but I'm right. being dishonest with you and I'm framing things in such a way that like I like I'm trying to come out on top above you, but you know you're right. Like you you know that you know that deep down I'm manipulating the facts. I'm smart enough okay. to know that I'm manip- like you know I that I know that I'm smart enough, right? Like you know that so I'm just being a dishonest guy basically about it. You just say shit to fit in with a specific group even though say, you yeah. know that it's yeah. not true. Okay. Like, okay. Yeah. like with Sneeko okay. for years, Political he had his YouTube channel. Yeah. He was talking about more of like leftism, you know, kind of respect women, all this kind of shit. Mm-hmm. And then when the Andrew Tate thing started blowing up, this was like around like May, Sneeko completely flipped to just repeat kind of just whatever Andrew Tate was saying. Completely different from what Sneeko has been saying for the last 10 years. And then that's when he started, yeah. you know, and you're getting views from that. So you're like, okay, shit, this is what the people want to hear. I'm going to believe it even more. Um, it's like the it's like the Xbox bit with Tucker Carlson. We know that Tucker is smart. We know he's a smart enough guy to know that it was yeah. just one toggle, but he knew how to frame that fact in a way to appeal to like his base, right? Like to appeal right. to what is the common like public perception. I think that's the best way to really describe we it. We know that Tucker Carlson no. doesn't think M and M's are promoting no. an unhealthy yeah. lifestyle. Yeah. I, I right. guess Rifty's kind of like a. That's kind of like a hot word, you know. It's kind of like it, it is a buzzword for sure. It it's like woke buzzword. nowadays, but like, like you just have wow. to be able to define it. It's like, it's like the people who argue about woke shit, right? It's like, can you define what woke means? And if they can't define it, it's like, oh, so you're just using it like a 
fucking weird like buzzword. It's to me, like it's a like, former guest we yeah. had on this podcast that will go unnamed oh that couldn't define no, 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 no. the matrix. Let's not, bring up, let's not start any drama. <laughs> no, 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 no. I just don't uh, want him to come back. Oh my god! <laughs> just I think, it, I think the back. meme is already the meme has already just died out. Like I just the, don't the want to see him anymore. The woke stuff gets me going because it's like anytime somebody uses the word woke, it's like, what are you trying to like imply? Like, what is woke about something? Like, if you mention climate change shit, right? Like, with anybody, it's like, oh, so you know, you're bringing woke politics into it. I'm like, if I mentioned that evolution was a reality and you didn't believe it because you're a creationist person, are you going to say that I'm woke? Like, at the end of the day, I'm dealing with something that has more facts and logic <laughs> than the other, right? Like, it, it's, I would I, if I, don't I was know. a grifter. Ex oh. Yeah. I like, dude, I don't know I, if you I, saw this, yeah. but I was getting, I got yeah. into trouble with, like, uh, the Lolly community guys, and they were saying that I'm a grifter by talking on this podcast and talking about how I think dude. that it's weird to like the Lolly stuff. Those people are unhinged. Like, anybody that defends the cartoon shit this hard, like, you should have your hard drive f***ing searched into. Okay? I'm just saying like it is, alright? Like, if you're defending this cartoon, like, underage crap, like, that hard, you... I don't know. I don't know. Like, because everyone says, like, hey, there's this difference between reality and fiction. I'm like, dude, forget the reality and fiction. Like, what about your psyche as a person? Like, what are you so enticed by? Because that bitch ain't, that bitch doesn't look a thousand years old, okay? It's not a thousand year old dragon, okay? Let's not pretend. Like, you're, you're just a weird, sick guy. So you think, it's what it comes out to. So you think there should be, like, open file searching on, like, all computers for CSAM? And all that kind of stuff. I wouldn't go that far. No, I'm, no. I'm scared. I'm scared. <laughs> no, I, 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 I think the FBI should have a fucking case to get a warrant on your system, dude. That's another thing. This is what this is like. Where I hate it, but this is where like I think the grift definition comes in real hard. People like, like I'm totally like okay if there's like a in like a, the FBI having warrants to check my computers, right? Where I'm not okay with is like that same CSAM detection shit on my computer, like anything that looks for like because. People will say, what's the problem, right? You're just trying to stop criminals that way. I'm like, dude, I don't like running software that allows any federal agency to, like, compare whatever they want on their system. Because I think that can easily be abused, right? Like, imagine if you live in a corrupt country, like a really corrupt country, and f***ing you're just, you know, you're doing your own thing. You might say something against somebody of power, and all of a sudden the next day, like, they just, the, the government agency just said you tripped one of their flags up, and now you're going to be sent to prison forever for, like... <laughs> Some yeah. fucking weird thing. I don't know. It's just something that I don't like. I don't like the government looking into my shit when they don't have the legal right to. Like, you should have the ability. You should have privacy. I think that's a basic human right, you know? Mm -hmm. Like, if the government wants to fucking raid my house, they get a warrant and they raid it through, like, actual legal channels. Not right. looking through my shit. All, like, that's that's so weirdly draconian. That, in, in my opinion, that's, like, that, that's literally living in, like, in the most fascist society imaginable, right? Like, you literally live in Nazi Germany if, like, the government is allowed to look into your shit that hard. Like, and, like what, the state what, can... Go ahead. Like, I, I know with that CSAM detection, they've been having a lot of issues with false positives. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. You know, where it, it looks like this thing, because they go visit the guy, you know, they check it all out, and it's like, that's like, I mean, that's something that's happening right now, right here. And yeah. it's like, that shit's, I, I, I don't know. I think, those... I think protecting kids is a value, it's a virtuous thing, right? But it's like, at the same time, like, you just can't encroach really basic human rights that way. You know, like, yeah. there should just not be a reason to have that going. And, like, if I say that, people are like, oh, so you just support people having that kind of shit? I'm like, where did I f***ing say that? Where did I even, like, mention that? I'm talking about basic human rights and privacy. It's like, during that whole, like, Kiwi Farm shit, right? Like, I remember when, like, they were going to yeah. EDOS. I was like, I just don't think that we should have mob mentality to, like, control the cybersecurity protections of, like, one group. And also, we shouldn't be engaging in federal crimes against people we don't agree with necessarily, right? Like, I get it. I'm not a defender of Kiwi Farms. I think what they do is, like, some insane... Like, they, they, there's yeah. definitely illegal shit that goes on there. They definitely store, like, information that they probably shouldn't. And they definitely, like, like the people involved in there definitely touch the poo a lot, like, by jumping into these situations and harassing people. But at the same time, it's like, you need to have, like, there needs to be a line, okay? You just, you just don't cross a line, all right? Mm. And, and if you do cross lines, you can't be morally, like, and righteous about it either, right? Like, at the end of the day, a criminal is a f***ing criminal, regardless of whatever intention you might want to offer. Yeah. I'm sorry, I'm just too hard lined like that. Like, that's just where I stand. Firmly, my man's just too red pilled. What could I say? 
You too, they have two red pills. Yeah. Remember the other thing where like Aiden Ross had that like fascism clip? He's like he's trying to pronounce like fascism and like ultra net he's like ultra net like bro, my mom like was like she like I, I played the clip in front of her, I'm like because she was talking about it. I'm like, dude, why do people... Because we talked about the Florida man shit. And my mom's like, why do people shit on Florida so much? And I'm like, I just brought up the Aiden Ross like fucking clip. Yeah. I'm like, all right, mom, here's the average floor Floridian to you. Yeah. And like, he's trying to pronounce ultra-nationalist. And he's like, ultra Natali. I'm like, dude, stop. Oh, that, was, that was painful. <laughs> oh, so it, was, it was the best thing that I've ever seen. And that is one of the reasons why like Aiden Ross has become one of my favorite content creators because he's real you know it's like it's like the vitali it's like vitali right like vitali just hates poor people like back the f off he's Same. honest you know i appreciate it Same. i appreciate the honesty just like aiden ross isn't trying to sound like an intellectual aiden ross made money the Aiden Ross isn't going to sit at you across the table and try to pretend he knows what an ultra-nationalist is. No, he's going to butcher the whole thing in front of you. He's going to be very upfront and real with you, all right? Like, he's going to be the guy that sniffs Andrew Tate's chair in front of you, whether you like it or not. He is an honest, fucking amazing content creator because he's just a real guy, you know? He's an honest and sweet boy. He's a real fucking creator, and I respect that so hard. I'm like, I love this man for that reason. Like... <laughs> Promoting gambling? He doesn't care. Like he'll do it, and then he'll flip on the OnlyFans people. I like it, dude. It's it's amazing. Because you know the thing is, he believes it. He's not smart enough to fucking play around with facts. He's not that intelligent, and that's what I like about him. He's like Ed from Ed, Ed and Eddie. You know, he just switches up. That's all it is. It's like, Which no. one? <laughs> that's, it, that's my favorite thing about Aiden Ross. Like, and, and the thing is, I love like the whole community babies him. Like, I remember I used to get so like fired up when Hassan was like really nice to him for some reason. I'm like, oh, I get it. Because Hassan just realizes there's no way to deal with this anymore. This is just, <laughs> he's just that dumb. He's a goober. <laughs> yeah, yeah, he's exactly. a goober. <laughs> Like, 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 if me and Aiden Ross were at like a bar and he starts talking about some dumb shit and like everyone around us looks, I'll just play along. I'm like, guys, come on, what are you gonna bully him? Like, have you just heard him speak for the last 15 minutes? You're the asshole. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> this guy needs our help. Yeah. Hundred <laughs> percent. No, he's, he's he's a he's like like he's not even like it's it's the reason I can let Aiden slide is he's not malicious. He's just mm -hmm. not like a malicious. He's, he's, he's not just malicious dumb. at all. He's yeah. like a 12 year old yeah. adult man. Like, yeah. you, you literally can't be mad at the guy. No, you, you can't. Like, he's like the kind of guy that's like, fuck, he's just one stage. His intellect is one stage above the point where, like, dangling your car keys in front of him is going to, like, grab his attention. He's a human moth. <laughs> <laughs> Like, like if, if we were sitting out like together, it's like, oh, you want to talk about the economy? And I'm like, oh shit, Aiden's here. Let's let's talk about something like bionicles or some shit. Let's yeah. get, <laughs> let's yeah, bring yeah. the conversation down a little bit. It's like global warming. He's like, Aiden dude, what Ross are you? Is the world's biggest fan of Matthew Bream. <laughs> <laughs> No, no, like, Aiden's the kind of guy that if I picked him up at the Toronto airport today, he'll be like, hey, Muda, I just realized something. Global warming's a myth, bro. There's a snowstorm out there. I'm like, you're yeah. right, bro. Mm -hmm. You're right, dude. Clint, not real at all. Valid. 100%, dude. Like, if Valid. he said that to me, I wouldn't even try to argue with him. I'm like, you know what, man? You're right, buddy. You and figured it out. no cap at some point. <laughs> dude, that's, that's my favorite. Like, you know when you see somebody texting emojis and you're like, who talks like? this and then you look at Aiden Ross and it's like oh shit I get it no, yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> makes sense yeah this is the guy yeah dude would be so popular in elementary school <laughs> yeah I, I'll tell you if me and he him share a house he literally is, <laughs> he is. He literally dude is. no I'm just saying if me and him were roommates you know what I would get him for Christmas like just in what I would put under the tree for him I'd buy one what? of those gamer muscles and I'd be like Figure it out by that free, like the little muscles that you wear now to like fucking oh mute you. I no. buy one of those. <laughs> oh shit, that's my favorite dude. I, I love him for that. He's he's just a he's like the least mal and, and you know when he like falls <laughs> for the Tate stuff, it makes sense. I'm like, dude, I get oh, it. I, I understand it, man. He falls for it, <laughs> dude. He's the guy that like he'll buy the Prime Energy drink at the Seven Eleven for fourteen dollars. Like, he'll do it. Oh, yeah. Like, no joke. He's like, dude, we got to try this. This is the crazy look. It, it'll keep me hydrated. I'm like, I love him. I love him for that, dude. He's Holy my favorite God. character.
Was this just... clip where he was talking about the fascism and he was like trying to explain it or, or he was like Love trying that. to say it and then he was like, yo, chat, can you guys put a, let's put an L for Hitler, man. Let's put an L for Hitler. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like he's got to know what he's doing to an extent, right? That's too funny, bro. Right? That's too funny. <laughs> that's like an like... SNL character. <laughs> Dude, you know the you know the best part? It's like that blonde chick from Family Guy, Jillian or whatever. It's like that's who he is, dude. He's like he's, he's like the guy that would unironically, like while I'm working on something, he'd come into the room. It's like, bro, I just found out about this Mussolini guy. Bro, L in the chat for that dude. Hundred percent Mussolini dog. <laughs> <laughs> he, pulls, he, he, he didn't know what fascism was, right? So he pulls up like famous fascism. famous fascists throughout history, and Mussolini's the first yeah. guy that pops up. He can't read him. He's like, "What is this? A type of pasta?" <laughs> I'm gonna I'm gonna bet like a thousand dollars that in a general conversation, if you had with Aiden Ross. And by the way, Aiden, I'm not saying this to be mean. Nobody here is saying this to be mean. We love you, honestly, after all of it. In an unironic conversation, I would bet you guys $1,000 that, like, if you were to ask him about, like, a fact of World War II, within 10 seconds, he would say, bro, is that where the Germans got ratioed by America, bro? <laughs> oh, dude, I remember that. <laughs> like, that's, unironically, that's the Dang. lingo you would be hearing. You wouldn't, like, <laughs> and, then, and then the thing is, if you get mad at him after you heard that, like, who's really to blame? Is it him or is it you? Like, bro, use the word ratio, unironically. <laughs> like, he's talking about L's and W's in yeah. real life scenario. L Hitler, man. <laughs> I remember when he was like, dude, the saddest day for me was when Kanye West wouldn't interview him. I'm like, please, just interview Aiden Ross. I just want to hear Aiden talk about, like, shit with Kanye. Like, because that guy's unhinged and Aiden can't handle a conversation. <laughs> dude, have, have you oh. seen when he plays gay with, like, all the rappers? Oh, I love it, dude. I love that I, shit. Like, like, it like, reminds me of, like, the kids in, like, like football or, like, wrestling. You know, and they'd always, like, just fuck around with each other. And Aiden's just, like, and he's doing it with 21 Savage. And he kind of got creeped out. I was like, yo, what the fuck are you doing, dog? Like, he was all weirded out. He's, like, trying to kiss him or some shit. <laughs> but... Yeah, Aiden's just like sexually harassing fucking. Yeah, dude, it is so funny. <laughs> I gotta go, boys. Uh, right. Yeah, I gotta. Yeah, I think uh, I think we've we've spent too much yeah. on the. We, we we're ending it fine on the Aiden bit. You know, Aiden, you are one of my favorite characters. Wait, I, I love him. I, I love him. I actually I love him. I did. Go Alec ahead. Baldwin. What do we think? Is he guilty? Yeah. You think so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bro. I'm just saying, if Keanu Reeves can do three John Wick movies and so not pop a dude in the head, Justin Roy, yeah. Alec Baldwin, guilty. I think the whole, I think the whole team, the whole production team's guilty. What Justin Roiland, like no, no, Rick no, no, and Morty, no, no. Oh. Alec Baldwin. Yeah, I think there's some there's some guilt to be shared. As far as Justin Roiland goes, bro, I've never found Rick and Morty to be funny, and uh, it's just gonna be margin. It's how it's totally squash, bro. How is that show gonna survive? By the way, he's if he all voices the voice like actors. half the yeah, he's all the yeah. voices all of them. I've so. already sold all my Funko Pops, the Rick and Morty ones. So, good man. Yeah, yeah. The the stock was going real down L. on that. Pickle Rick, Pickle L. Rick, El <laughs> Pickle Rick, El right. okay. well, Pickle uh, Rick. <laughs> well, hopefully you all had a fun episode of the podcast. This one was probably the longer one out of the ones we've done recently. Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. yeah, we had one. a good time with our friend Vince. Vince, you have any socials you want to plug in? Add me on Twitter. Vince Vintage. Yeah, follow him on uh, on his Twitch account, twitch.tv slash Aiden Ross. And uh, obviously you can check out Nux Taku. Rumble. You can check out... <laughs> I'm a rumbler. I'm not a YouTuber. I'm a rumbler. I'm a rumbler. Yeah. yeah, dude, you're going you're gonna to really rumble up some videos later, aren't I'm a rumbler, you? Dude. Yeah, I love how, dude, like, rumbler, I don't know dude. if you've seen this. People on Rumble, like, whenever they see a Twitch streamer with less viewers than them, they go after them and they say, I lapped you on alternative platforms! I left you, bro. <laughs> you see that? Yeah, dude, they're like, yeah, your bots are really kicking in that well. Dude, but that check out. Is so bot. Oh, sir. Oh no, no, go ahead, go ahead, no, no, please, please. I always appreciate Rumble slander. No, okay, if you go on Rumble and you look at the live viewers, like fit, like I think, uh, so Fresh and Fit were doing a live stream on YouTube and they had like twenty thousand viewers. So then they cut off the stream and they're like, okay, guys, we're gonna end the stream on YouTube. It's just gonna be on Rumble for the rest of it. So go find us over there. They go and Rumble. And then now the viewership's doubled to now 50,000 viewers on Rumble. It just doesn't Damn. make any sense. Is and it's it like, fake? I, I think it, I mean, how easy would it be for Rumble to just bump the numbers up and just give everyone this inflated sense I mean, sense it's, just of, a, it's just a client-side change, right? Like, 
It can't be that difficult for them. Um, I think it's good to... Uh, one of the points that I made before we ended is, like, if you want to have a pretty healthy metric, look at their video views on Rumble versus the live viewers. There should be correlation between the two. If you don't... If you see a... mat, Like, if Sneeko's getting a 1,000 actual video views on Rumble, but, like, 100,000 live viewers on Rumble, yeah, probably yeah. inflated fucking numbers. I'm just saying. Like, that, that sounds way. pretty shin yeah. That sounds pretty wild that they're able to match numbers of, like, the top five streamers on Twitch TV. Uh. Just saying. But anyways, ladies and gentlemen, hopefully you enjoyed the podcast. If you like what you saw, please like, comment, and subscribe. Dislike it if you dislike it. We are...